I thank uh, uh, Madam uh, Dr. Vusha Sriram and my colleague uh, Dr. Chokalingam uh, for coming on board uh, for this interesting session. Uh, because uh, on a Women's Day, uh, why we focus on the women? Uh, as the WHO has extended the two decades of our creating bone and the joint health awareness, many women in our country, they are not taking care of their bone health. That's why it's uh, where the Hindu has uh, played a significant role for choosing this very relevant topic. I'll focus on uh, how do uh, I take care of as a woman? Uh, how can one take care of their uh, bone health so that the osteoporosis can be prevented or the bone, the strength can be increased or maintained at least. See, uh, uh, osteoporosis is, uh, there are two reasons. One is osteoporosis is a silent disease. And also, if, uh, uh, if the women are aware, the osteoporosis can be prevented. So that's why it's very important that uh, we are, uh, uh, all women are aware of their bone health. As uh, Madam uh, Dr. Ravusha Sriram mentioned, we can divide into uh, uh, three uh, phases of uh, women. First is, you know, the, the bone, uh, the maximum density of uh, uh, women or man, uh, both they reach before the age of uh, 30. So up to the age of 30, what is in a women's control is to maximize their peak bone mass. So we have got chance only up to the age of 30 to maximize our bone density. Because after 30 years, with each passing year, the bone density gets reduced. So up to the age of 30, what a woman can do is by having a very healthy diet, regular exercises, which is weight-bearing exercises like walking, jogging, running, uh, and then the lifting of a mild, moderate weight, uh, and uh, also uh, avoiding uh, uh, or uh, uh, not taking uh, alcohol, avoiding uh, tobacco, and having a generally healthy lifestyle. So uh, that is largely under a, a women's control. So how do we maximize her bone mass before the age of 30? Because that is entirely within our control, unless otherwise somebody has got a specific illness. Then the next phase of women, uh, we can say that it's uh, just pre-menopausal adulthood uh, from the age of 30 to 45. From the age of 30 to 45, as the bone density starts getting reduced each year, many women present with uh, symptoms like the bone pain, body ache, tiredness, and all. Generally, all these symptoms and all, uh, can be managed with modification of the lifestyle by doing a regular exercises and uh, having a good dietary intake with the food which is rich in uh, uh, calcium supplements and regular exposure to sunlight. But there are certain uh, 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 women who are uh, at risk of uh, getting osteoporosis in later in their life. If there's a family history or if somebody undergoes a surgeries like uh, the removal of the uterus and the ovaries, or if there is somebody on long-term uh, oral uh, steroid intake uh, for various medical illnesses, either uh, rheumatological illness or uh, asthma and all, these people are more prone to develop osteoporosis. So we are talking about an age group where normal physiology, they should not develop osteoporosis, but because of the other reasons, they are at higher chance of developing the osteoporosis because of the family history or uh, because of the body frame, thin uh, body frame or other pre-existing uh, uh, illnesses. These women should consult a doctor and then they should have the, uh, the, the blood tests and as well as the screening. The people who are uh, susceptible to osteoporosis, which can lead to fractures later in their life. Then the next group, uh, the age group, we can say that uh, it's a perimenopausal. Perimenopausal, uh, if roughly if you translate it, uh, though it varies between the age of 45 to 50 years. During this time, uh, a woman undergoes a significant challenges in their uh, body and the mind. Because that is the time, uh, I mean, if you want to call like midlife crisis, you call it, but I would prefer to avoid that term. Because this is uh, uh, both uh, the hormonal, physical, psychological changes, and as well as the social and family changes. Many times the children leave their home, and uh, women uh, feel that uh, they are empty nest uh, uh, syndrome. And also, uh, this is the time where the, the spouses will be at the peak of their career, so they don't spend much time with the women. 
And also, because of the hormonal changes, the positive effects of the estrogen on the bone is uh, reduced, and they start undergoing significant uh, uh, problems because of the uh, weakness in the bone, as well as the other uh, associated the body and uh, mind changes. This is the stage it is recommended when they have people above the age of 50 in particular to have the osteoporosis health checkup. In the, at Kaveri, uh, we do recommend osteoporosis health checkup in the women presenting with the symptoms of uh, poor bone health with the calcium, vitamin D, and the bone density. If the bone density is still uh, uh, not osteoporosis, we advise them on a healthy lifestyle, regular exercises. That we uh, ask them to see the dietitian. If you are, there's a vegetarian, there's a significant challenge uh, because uh, the dairy source is the rich source of uh, 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 the calcium, along with the leafy green uh, vegetables, and as well as uh, the nuts and all. If uh, people uh, who can eat uh, fish, that's uh, again a good source. So we are, the dietitian goes through uh, the, the, the calcium intake, which comes through the diet. So if uh, the dietary calcium is uh, found to be inadequate, we supplement with the calcium. And the vitamin D deficiency, which has been uh, recognized as a significant cause, and uh, oh yeah, over the last uh, 20 years, a lot of research has gone in. And then apart from recommending the regular exposure to sunlight, which may not be practical in many women, particularly working women, we do start them on the vitamin D supplement as well. But nothing, uh, uh, because I'm taking a calcium and vitamin D a supplement, a women should not ignore on the regular exercises, including weight-bearing exercises. That is the fundamental. And then, you know, this is about the premenopausal. Postmenopausal, uh, you know, as uh, Dr. Usha Madam was uh, saying, that. Uh, uh, by this stage of postmenopausal, uh, we could have understood all the risk a woman may face uh, if they are going to develop osteoporosis. Apart from the, all the false prevention measure, one of the important things is the false prevention, right? Uh, because the bone is already weak, as uh, the slides were shown, the spine can uh, uh, shrink uh, uh, and it, it, they can become shorter in height. They can have a muscular imbalance. They are at a very high incidence of having a... Uh, a fracture due to a slip. That's why the non-slippery tiles at home, the safe uh, uh, safe uh, uh, corridor from the bathroom to the, the bedroom, everything has to be, all the home modifications are to be done so that even if a woman gets up in the middle of the night to go to the restroom, she should not have an unfortunate incidence of fall. Because, uh, you know, the, if uh, a young man or woman with a fractured hip presents it to an orthopedic surgeon. Management of this is uh, not that complex, whereas in the, uh, women above 65 years of age, if we, she comes to the orthopedic surgeon with a fractured hip, the challenges are significant. Because if you are going to fix a hip fracture or wrist fracture or spine fracture with an orthopedic implant, there is a no, uh, uh, there's not enough strength in the bone uh, to withhold these implants. So the, the significant research has gone into how do we, uh, you know, we call this a fragility fractures because the bones have become fragile because of the uh, uh, age-related and hormone-related changes in women. And how do we have a better implants and better uh, the fracture fixation devices? In spite of that, we see uh, significant challenges because of the weak bone. So uh, the prevention, false prevention is the fundamental uh, uh, the objective uh, to prevent any complications because of the fall. Of course, uh, the science, the orthopedic science has significantly improved. We, any uh, elderly uh, women uh, presenting with a hip fracture, uh, we try to uh, uh, do the surgery within 20, 24 to 48 hours so that they are up and back on their feet on the second or third day. But we don't want to go to uh, that route. The whole idea of uh, practicing good medicine is the prevention of uh, 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 prevention of all the medical issues and uh, the complications. So my suggestion for uh, uh, women on this International Women's Day is osteoporosis is a preventable disease across all age group. It is uh, less than 30, 30 to 45, 45 to 55, even beyond uh, 55 by, uh, by having a good healthy lifestyle, uh, regular exercises, adequate diet, early diagnosis of osteoporosis or the bone weakness, and if it is diagnosed early by appropriate interventions uh, like uh, 
yeah, dietary uh, or uh, uh, the pharmacological supplements with the calcium or vitamin D, or if necessary, uh, the further bone supplements as well. Thank you.